My beloved child, if you believe this, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you believe in God, type, I really love you, God. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type Amen. My beloved child, in the stillness of your heart, I come to you with a message of reassurance and love. You have walked through moments where the shadows seemed overwhelming, where the darkness threatened to consume the light within you. But I am here to remind you that you are never alone. I see every tear, I hear every sigh, and I know every struggle you face. And today I want to tell you something important. You just dodged a fiery arrow. This world is filled with trials and tribulations, with forces that seek to harm you and derail the path I have set before you. These fiery arrows are not just the visible challenges, the obvious attacks, but also the subtle unseen forces that work against you. They come in the form of doubts, fears, temptations, and distractions. But even when you cannot see them, know that I am always aware, always vigilant, always protecting you. There are times when you may feel the heat of these arrows the pressure of the enemy closing in, and you wonder if you will make it through. But, my child, understand that I have equipped you with a shield of faith, a shield that is mighty and strong, capable of extinguishing all the flaming arrows of the evil one. This shield is not just a passive defense, it is an active, living force that grows stronger with every act of trust, every prayer, and every declaration of faith in me. You may not always recognize the dangers that you have been spared from. Sometimes you may think that things are just coincidences or that you are simply lucky. But my beloved, nothing happens by chance when you walk with me. Every step you take, every breath you breathe is under my watchful eye. I have guided your path away from dangers you didn't even know existed. The enemy may have planned harm for you, but I have turned it into good. You just dodged a fiery arrow, and it was not by luck, but by my divine intervention. Consider the story of Daniel in the lion's den. When he was thrown into that pit, surrounded by hungry lions, it seemed like all hope was lost. But I was with him. I shut the mouths of those lions, and not a single harm came to him. In the same way, I have shut the mouths of the lions in your life. The enemy may roar and threaten, but he cannot touch you, for you are mine. I have marked you with my seal, and you are under my protection. There are battles you will face, some seen and some unseen. But know this, my child, every battle you encounter is one that I have already fought for you. I go before you and make the crooked paths straight. I stand behind you as your rear guard, and I encircle you with my presence. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is your heritage as my servant, and your righteousness is from me. The enemy's arrows are not just physical, but they also target your mind and heart. He tries to plant seeds of doubt, fear, and despair. He tries to make you question your worth, your purpose, and my love for you. But, my child, you must guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flow the issues of life. Let my word dwell in you richly, filling your heart with truth, love, and hope. When the enemy whispers lies, respond with my truth. When he tries to sow fear, stand firm in my peace. When he brings despair, hold on to my hope. You just dodged a fiery arrow, but this is not the last time the enemy will try to attack. He is relentless in his pursuit, but I am even more relentless in my protection over you. I am your good shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep. I know you by name, and I call you to follow me. When you hear my voice, you can trust that I am leading you to green pastures and still waters. Even when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, fear no evil, for I am with you. In this journey, there will be moments when you feel overwhelmed, when the battles seem too fierce and the arrows too many. 
But remember, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you are weak, then you are strong, for my power rests upon you. Do not rely on your own strength, but lean on me, for I am your strength and your song. You may ask, why do these fiery arrows come at all? Why must I face these trials and tests? My beloved, these moments are not meant to break you, but to build you. They refine your faith, purify your heart, and draw you closer to me. They teach you to trust me more deeply, to rely on me more completely, and to love me more passionately. And in the end, they bring glory to my name as you emerge victorious, not by your own power, but by my spirit. You just dodged a fiery arrow, and in doing so, you have grown stronger. Your faith has been tested and proven true. You have seen my hand at work, and you know that I am faithful. Let this be a testimony to you and to those around you, that I am a God who saves, who protects, and who loves without measure. Let this be a reminder that no matter what comes your way, you are safe in my hands. Do not fear the future, for I hold it in my hands. Do not worry about what tomorrow may bring, for I am already there. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge me and I will direct your paths. My child, the enemy is a defeated foe. He may try to intimidate, deceive, and attack, but he cannot prevail against you, for you belong to me. You are covered by my blood, sealed by my spirit, and surrounded by my angels. The battle is not yours, but mine. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Be still and know that I am God. You just dodged a fiery arrow and I will continue to shield you from every attack of the enemy. But I also want you to know that you are not just a passive recipient of my protection. I have given you authority in my name, authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means harm you. Use this authority with confidence, knowing that I am with you. Put on the full armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil Gird your waist with truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Take up the shield of faith. Put on the helmet of salvation. And wield the sword of the Spirit, which is my word. With this armor, you are fully equipped to stand firm in the face of any attack. Pray always, with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watch with all perseverance. My beloved child, I want you to live with the awareness that you are in a spiritual battle, but you are not fighting alone. I am with you, and I have already secured the victory. The enemy may try to discourage you, distract you, and dissuade you from your purpose, but you must keep your eyes on me. Run with endurance the race that is set before you, looking unto me, the author and finisher of your faith. You just dodged a fiery arrow and it is a sign that I am actively working in your life. It is a sign that I have a purpose and a plan for you that the enemy cannot thwart. It is a sign that I am greater than any challenge you face. Let this truth sink deep into your heart. I am for you, and if I am for you, who can be against you? Continue to seek me with all your heart. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Abide in me, and I will abide in you. Let my words remain in you, and you will bear much fruit. You are not just surviving, my child, you are thriving. You are not just making it through, you are overcoming. You are more than a conqueror through me who loves you. You just dodged a fiery arrow, and as you move forward, know that there will be more challenges ahead. But also know that with each challenge, my grace will abound even more. With each attack, my strength in you will be made even stronger. With each battle, your victory in me will be even greater. You are my beloved child, and I am your loving father. 
I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. I have counted every hair on your head. I know your thoughts from afar, and I am intimately acquainted with all your ways. I am your refuge and your fortress, your God, in whom you trust. Let this day be a day of rejoicing, a day of thanksgiving, a day of praise. For you have just dodged a fiery arrow, and it is a testimony of my goodness. My, for you have just dodged a fiery arrow, and it is a testimony of my goodness, my power, and my unending love for you. But this moment is not just about what you have avoided, it is about what lies ahead. The path I have set before you is filled with opportunities, growth, and victories that will further establish my kingdom in your life and the lives of those around you. Understand, my child, that every step you take in faith strengthens the bond between us. The journey you are on is not merely about reaching a destination, but about deepening your relationship with me. Each trial, each victory, and each moment of grace is an invitation to know me more, to trust me more, and to experience my presence in ways you never thought possible. You have been given a divine calling, one that surpasses the challenges of this world. This calling is not just a task or a mission, it is an identity. You are my ambassador, my light in a world that often walks in darkness. And though the enemy may try to extinguish that light, know that I have made it inextinguishable. The light that I have placed within you is a reflection of my glory, and no amount of darkness can overcome it. The enemy's fiery arrows are aimed not just at your circumstances, but at your purpose. He desires to divert you, to discourage you, and to make you question the path I have set before you. But my child, I want you to hold fast to the truth that my plans for you are unshakable. They are not contingent upon the enemy's attacks or the world's uncertainties. My plans for you are eternal, rooted in my sovereign will, and I will see them to completion. As you move forward, I want you to cultivate a heart of perseverance. Perseverance is more than just enduring. It is a steadfastness that is anchored in my promises. It is a determination to press on, even when the road is hard, because you know that I am with you. It is the confidence that every obstacle is an opportunity for growth, and every trial is a chance to see my power at work in your life. Remember, my child, that the journey ahead is not meant to be walked alone. I have placed people in your life for a reason. Some will encourage you, others will challenge you, and still others will walk alongside you sharing in the joys and trials of the journey. Do not isolate yourself, but lean into the community I have given you. There is strength in unity, and as you walk together with others, you will find that the burdens are lighter and the victories are sweeter. You are part of a larger story, my beloved, a story that I have been writing since the beginning of time. Your life is a chapter in this grand narrative, a story of redemption, restoration, and resurrection. And though the enemy may try to disrupt this story, he cannot change its ending. For I have already written the final chapter, and it is one of triumph, joy, and eternal life. Do not fear the fiery arrows that come your way. For every arrow that the enemy sends, I have given you a shield of faith to extinguish it. And not only that, but I have also given you the sword of the Spirit, which is my word. With this sword, you can not only defend yourself, but also go on the offensive, pushing back the darkness and claiming the victory that is already yours in me. In the days to come, I want you to meditate on my word, to let it fill your heart and mind. For it is through my word that you will find the strength, wisdom, and guidance you need to navigate the challenges ahead. My word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. It is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword. It will equip you for every good work and empower you to stand firm in the face of adversity. I also want you to cultivate a heart of prayer. Prayer is not just a way to communicate with me. It is a way to align your heart with mine. Through prayer, 
you will find peace in the midst of chaos, hope in the midst of despair, and strength in the midst of weakness. Prayer is your lifeline to me, and it is through prayer that you will find the grace to overcome every challenge and the wisdom to navigate every decision. As you continue on this journey, my child, I want you to remember that you are never alone. I am with you every step of the way, guiding you, protecting you, and loving you. I am your good shepherd, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. You are precious to me, and I have a purpose and a plan for your life that is greater than anything you can imagine. You just dodged a fiery arrow, and it is a sign that I am at work in your life. It is a sign that I have a future and a hope for you, and that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So take heart, my beloved, and continue to walk in faith, knowing that I am with you, and that I will see you through to the end. The path ahead may not always be easy, but it will always be worth it. For as you walk with me, you will experience the fullness of life that I have promised you. You will see my hand at work in ways that you never thought possible, and you will grow in your understanding of who I am and who you are in me. You are not just a survivor, my child. You are a conqueror. And more than that, you are more than a conqueror through me who loves you. The battles you face are not the end of your story. They are the beginning of something greater. For every trial you endure, every challenge you overcome, is shaping you into the person I have created you to be. So do not be discouraged, my beloved. Do not be dismayed. For I am with you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I will lead you beside still waters. I will restore your soul, and I will guide you in paths of righteousness for my name's sake. And when you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for I am with you. My rod and my staff, they will comfort you. I will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I will anoint your head with oil. Your cup will overflow. Surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in my house forever. As you move forward, I want you to keep your eyes on me. Do not look to the right or to the left, but fix your gaze on me. For I am the author and finisher of your faith, and I have begun a good work in you, and I will bring it to completion. Trust in me with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge me, and I will direct your paths. You just dodged a fiery arrow, but this is not the end of the story. There are greater things ahead, greater victories to be won, greater heights to be reached. And I am with you every step of the way, leading you, guiding you, and empowering you to fulfill the destiny I have for you. My beloved child, I want you to know that I am proud of you. I see the steps of faith you are taking, the sacrifices you are making, and the love you are showing to those around you. I see your heart, and I am pleased with you. You are my treasure, my joy, and my delight. And I have great plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a future and a hope. So do not be afraid of what lies ahead, for I am with you, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am your God, and I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. As you continue on this journey, I want you to remember that you are not defined by the fiery arrows that come your way, but by my love for you. You are not defined by the battles you face, but by the victory I have already won for you. You are not defined by the challenges you encounter, but by the purpose I have for your life. You are my beloved child, and I have a plan and a purpose for you that is greater than anything you can imagine. So take heart, my beloved, and continue to walk in faith, knowing that I am with you, and that I will see you through to the end. In the days to come, you will face challenges, but you will also experience victories. You will face trials, but you will also experience triumphs. You will face opposition, but you will also experience my overwhelming love and grace. And through it all, 
I will be with you, guiding you, protecting you, and loving you. You just dodged a fiery arrow, and it is a sign that I am at work in your life. It is a sign that I have a future and a hope for you, and that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So take heart, my beloved, and continue to walk in faith, knowing that I am with you, and that I will see you through to the end. And as you move forward, remember that you are not alone. I have given you my spirit, who lives within you, empowering you, guiding you, and comforting you. I have given you my word, which is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. And I have given you my church, a community of believers who will walk alongside you, encourage you, and support you. You are not alone, my child. You are surrounded by my presence, enveloped in my love, and strengthened by the community of believers I have placed around you. In every season, in every situation, my spirit is with you, guiding your steps and giving you the wisdom you need to navigate the challenges you encounter. As you press forward, I want you to be aware of the significance of your journey. Every day is a step closer to the fulfillment of the purpose I have for you. You are being refined, molded, and shaped into the person I designed you to be. This process is not always easy, but it is necessary for your growth and maturity. Trust that I am using every experience, every lesson, to prepare you for what lies ahead. Your journey is not just about overcoming obstacles, it is about becoming who I have called you to be. It is about growing in your understanding of my character, deepening your faith, and learning to walk in the fullness of my promises. Every challenge you face is an opportunity to trust me more, to lean on my strength, and to see my faithfulness in action. There will be moments when the path seems unclear, when you may feel unsure of which direction to take. In those times, I want you to pause and seek my guidance. I am not a distant God. I am near to you, and I am ready to lead you. When you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. When you listen for my voice, I will speak to you. I will illuminate the path before you and give you the clarity you need to move forward with confidence. As you continue to walk with me, you will discover that my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. There will be times when my plans may not align with your expectations, but know that my plans are always for your good. I see the bigger picture. I know the end from the beginning, and I am orchestrating every detail of your life according to my perfect will. Do not be discouraged when things don't go as you expected. Instead, trust that I am working all things together for your good. Even in the midst of uncertainty, you can have peace, knowing that I am in control. Your steps are ordered by me, and I am leading you into a future filled with hope and promise. My beloved child, I want you to embrace the journey with a heart full of faith. Know that each day brings new opportunities to grow, to learn, and to experience my love in deeper ways. I am with you in the highs and the lows, in the victories and the trials, and I will never leave you or forsake you. Remember that your journey is unique to you. Do not compare yourself to others or measure your progress by the standards of this world. I have a specific plan for your life, a path that is tailor-made just for you. Focus on what I am doing in your life and trust that I am guiding you according to my perfect wisdom. You have a divine calling, a purpose that is woven into the very fabric of who you are. This calling is not just about what you do, but about who you are becoming. It is about reflecting my character, sharing my love, and living out the truth of who I am in every area of your life. As you walk in your calling, you will encounter challenges, but you will also experience great joy. You will face opposition, but you will also experience my overwhelming grace and favor. And through it all, you will see my hand at work, guiding you, protecting you, and blessing you. I want you to be bold in your faith, to step out in confidence, knowing that I am with you. There is no need to fear, for I am your strength and your shield. I am your refuge and your fortress, your God in whom you trust. 
As you walk with me, you will see that I am faithful to fulfill every promise I have made to you. Let your heart be filled with hope, my child. The journey ahead is filled with possibilities, with opportunities to grow, to learn, and to experience my love in new and deeper ways. Keep your eyes on me, and I will lead you into the fullness of all that I have prepared for you. Your life is a testament to my grace and my goodness. Every step you take in faith, every decision you make in obedience, brings you closer to the fulfillment of my promises. You are on a journey of transformation, a journey that will lead you into the fullness of life that I have promised. As you move forward, I want you to remember that you are not walking this path alone. I am with you, and I have placed people in your life to walk alongside you, to encourage you, and to support you. Lean on the community I have given you, and know that together you are stronger. Your journey is significant, not just for you, but for those around you. As you walk in faith, you are a light to others, a beacon of hope and encouragement. Your life is a testimony to my power and my love, and as you walk in your calling, you will inspire others to do the same. Do not be afraid to share your story, to share the journey you are on. Your testimony is powerful, and it has the potential to impact the lives of others in ways you cannot even imagine. Be bold in sharing what I am doing in your life, and watch as I use your story to bring hope and encouragement to others. As you continue on this journey, I want you to keep your heart open to the new things I am doing in your life. I am always at work, always moving, always creating new opportunities for you to grow and experience my love. Be open to the new experiences, the new challenges, and the new blessings that I am bringing your way. Your journey is a process of becoming, of growing into the person I have created you to be. It is a journey of discovery, of learning more about who I am and who you are in me. Embrace the process and trust that I am with you every step of the way. As you walk with me, you will discover that I am faithful to fulfill every promise I have made to you. I am your provider, your protector, your healer, and your guide. I am everything you need and I will never let you down. Take each step in faith, knowing that I am with you, guiding you, and leading you into the fullness of life that I have promised. You are my beloved child, and I have a plan and a purpose for your life that is greater than anything you can imagine. The journey ahead is filled with hope, with possibilities, and with the promise of my presence. Walk in faith, my beloved, and know that I am with you now and always. And as you continue on this journey, Remember that every step you take brings you closer to the fulfillment of the purpose I have for your life. Keep your eyes on me and trust that I am leading you into the fullness of all that I have prepared for you. You are my beloved child and I am with you, guiding you, protecting you, and loving you. Together, we will walk this journey and together we will see the fulfillment of all that I have promised. The path ahead is bright, my beloved. Walk in faith and know that I am with you every step of the way. As you move forward, let your heart rest in the assurance that I am your constant companion, your ever-present help in times of need. The road before you is paved with opportunities to witness my power and experience my love in ways you have not yet imagined. Each day brings new mercies, new grace, and new strength to face whatever comes your way. I want you to live with a spirit of expectancy, knowing that I am a God who delights in doing exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think. Anticipate my goodness in your life. Expect to see my hand move in both the small details and the grand moments. Trust that I am always at work, orchestrating everything for your good and my glory. Your journey is unique, crafted with care by my hands. There will be moments of joy and moments of challenge, but in each moment, I am shaping you, refining you, and drawing you closer to my heart. When you face trials, know that they are not without purpose. I use every circumstance to build your character, to deepen your faith, and to mold you into the image of my son. 
Stay close to me, my child. Abide in my presence, and let my words abide in you. The more you draw near to me, the more you will see my love and power at work in your life. I am your source, your sustainer, and your ultimate reward. There is nothing in this world that can compare to the joy of knowing me and walking in my ways. I encourage you to keep your heart tender and open to my leading. Be sensitive to the promptings of my spirit, for I am always speaking, always guiding, and always ready to show you the way. Sometimes my voice may come as a gentle whisper, other times as a stirring in your spirit, but always it is a voice of love and wisdom. As you continue to walk this path, remember that you are not defined by your past or by the opinions of others. You are defined by my love, my grace, and the purpose I have placed within you. Let go of any fears or doubts that try to hold you back and step boldly into the future I have prepared for you. There is so much more ahead, so many more victories to be won, so many more blessings to be received. I am with you every step of the way, cheering you on, lifting you up, and giving you the strength to persevere. You are never alone, for I am your constant companion, your faithful father, and your closest friend. Remember that I have equipped you with everything you need for the journey. My grace is sufficient, my strength is perfect in your weakness, and my peace surpasses all understanding. Whenever you feel overwhelmed, come to me and I will give you rest. Whenever you are unsure, seek me, and I will give you clarity. Let your heart be at peace, knowing that you are safe in my hands. No matter what challenges you face, no matter what obstacles arise, I am greater than them all. I have already overcome the world, and in me, you are more than a conqueror. Continue to walk in faith, my beloved. Continue to trust in my promises and continue to seek my presence. The best is yet to come, and I am excited to walk this journey with you, leading you from glory to glory, from strength to strength, and from faith to faith. You are my beloved child, and I am your loving father. I am with you, now and always, guiding you, protecting you, and filling your life with my love, my peace, and my joy. Amen.